Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Um, I want to do a video on the, the night tonight. You know, we played Dallas, unfortunately we lost, but um, it was fun to see the Stanley Cup reunion from the, the 2000 team. Personally, my favorite team, and a lot of Devils fans' favorite team. Um, it was fun to hear all the things during the pregame and the intermission. Um... You know, talking to players like Eliash, Arnett, Sakura, um, Halik, McKay, Madden, uh, Brodeur, Lemieux, and um, Gomez. And then Larry Robertson, too, talked about it. So it was fun to hear stories about them. You know, how, you know, they, they had the inject of the, um, the, new, the new players, the rookies at the time. And they added certain elements that helped them win. They said who was funny in the room. You know, they, they added stuff that, you know, fans at the time we didn't know about. And... You know, at that time, it wasn't all social media like it is today where you see news like that. So um, it's fun to hear stuff from the from the players. And um, it was just a beautiful night. I wish I was there. You know, I really wanted to get that ring. It was looked really cool. And, um, you know, it's just fun to see. You know, I wish I would have walked around, took pictures with the players because that's honestly that was my favorite team. Um, you know, seeing the players that were there, I wish McGillney and Terraria were there. They, I, I watched them and I liked them a lot in the earlier Devil teams. And unfortunately, they weren't there. But, um, you know, when they ran the ceremony, when they were walking down before the game, you know, I was hoping Lamarillo would be there. And I was I was very emotional when I saw him come down. You know, you think of all the success we had with Lou. And, um, you know, it's, it was, you know, it was good to see him. And then you saw each player come out one by one. And then you saw Stevens come out with the Consmite trophy. And I wasn't there. So I don't know what hardware he was there at the game. And I didn't hear Sakura's name. So then you... Figured he was going to walk down the aisle with the, with the Stanley Cup. And um, when you saw him come out skating the final lap with the cup, oh my God, I got emotional. I'm not going to lie. I really did. He was my favorite devil on that team. Um, I remember when I was younger, I uh, picked up one of those hockey news books. And at the time, they were listing each player on the team's you know highly touted prospect. And they went on about Sakura, and this was before, you know, internet and stuff. So it was just like you had to get the book to read what was going on. And, um, yeah, I know I'm a dinosaur, I know. Joke around if you must. But, um, yeah, it was just, uh, that player stuck in my head, really did. And then when he started coming into the lineup and playing, I just, I went towards him, and I really liked him. I liked the way he played. I liked the way he scored. He was a very, a uh, player that I kind of played like. And um, I liked the way he took his slap shot. It was very awkward, but he had a rocket for a shot. So, um, you know, he's definitely a player that I emulated. I really like Sakura. I hated when we traded him. But, um, you know, it was beautiful to see him skate around. He didn't have the chance that night to do it because, you know, as you all know, he took that hit from Matt Vichuk and, um, it was Matt, no, it was Hatcher, I'm sorry, and went to the hospital and wasn't able to lift the cup with the rest of the team. So it was just a beautiful way to complete the circle with this team and Sakura. It was just it was beautiful the way they did it and great job Devils. You did a great job. Um get into the game. You know, seeing Vatnin go down, you know, it was just a brutal loss. And what the fuck was PK doing in OT? Can can someone answer that? What was he doing? The puck was going one way and he was going totally opposite way. And then tried to, to go back towards it. What the hell was he doing? You know, but you know, whatever. Dallas is a good team. At least we got a point. Um, and, um, the, the thing was that, um, Vatanen took a bad hit, you know, he took a, a blocked a, a shot and he went down hard and went straight toward, straight out of the bench to the locker room. So I hope he's okay. I don't know what's going to happen with him. If he's going to get re-signed or traded, but he's, if he is going to get traded, he's one of our big pieces to bring back a good return. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> he looked, looked pretty bad. I think it was a Sagan shot too. So it looked like it hurt him. So hopefully, I haven't seen anything upon doing this video, so maybe you'll hear more come out later or, you know, tomorrow or, you know, into the week. So we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. It's only day to day. And, um, you know, during the week, I remember reading articles about uh, Fitzgerald talking to Zajac and Green about possibly being traded, what they want to do, what their intent is. And Zajac came out and flat out said, you know, I like it in New Jersey. I don't want to go anywhere. So he didn't want to wave his no claws, so he's sticking around. And Green, they really didn't get into the article about. I think it was on NewJersey.com if anybody wants to go look it up. And, uh, you know, they 
the green article they really didn't go into anything about so i don't know what was said if he wants to leave if you know if he wants to stick it out and just wait till free agency i don't know but um you know and then i saw some things going around you know with the our trade chips being botten and green and simmons so if Vatnin's down, you're looking to trade Green and uh, Simmons. <laughs> you're not going to get that good of a return. So, you know, we'll see what happens going further into this, uh, you know, into the free uh, into the trade deadline, which is February 24th. Um, will it include other players? Like, you know, I've heard rumors of Palmieri. I hope it's not Palmieri. I really like him. I think our right wing situation is horrible right now. So I really don't want to trade him. And I hope they do another bridge deal after this contract is up because I love what Palmieri adds to this team. Um, can Wood be traded? I don't know. You know, during the year he was put on the trade block. Can he still be one of those players moved? You know, a lot of teams would like a speedy winger that can play a, that has a physical edge. But I'm sure they watch the same games we do. It looks like that man stick handles with a metal stick. I swear to God, kid can't stick handle, but he could score here and there. So. You know, we'll see what happens. And um, could Zaka be on the move? You know, he's another name that is a possibility. But I think the Devils will most likely hold on to him because he's got a, a good contract going forward and he plays a defensive game. So if uh, Zajac kind of, you know, not if he's not moved or anything, I'm sh you know Zajac will stick around. You know, have Zaka too. But if Zajac is moved, because I remember them him, them saying that later into the summer they they would explore the options. So. If Zajac is moved, you still have Zaka to play that defensive game that if you lose Zajac. So we'll see what happens. I haven't heard too many other rumors <coughs> excuse me, involving the Devils. If there's more rumors that come out, I'll do a video on it. Um, let me know what you, you guys and girls think. Who do you want to get moved? Who do you, What do you want in return? I know at this point we're just looking at picks and prospects and hopefully good prospects at this point. Um, so we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, help it grow. Thank you all so much. Have a great night and take care.